So, when we left off, we had just chased away a pack of lions that, strangely enough, seemed to be looking for something. And upon further inspection in Lake Helia, you found a scale. What that scale belongs to, you do not know. But night has passed, and you have slept relatively uneventfully near the lake. And as the rising sun creeps into your eyes, you slowly all wake up. Except one of you. You notice that Syzygy is gone. I'm looking around for a note of some kind if if one of my new friends is just out of here. Roll. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Roll investigation. I'm just sad because my friend is gone. Next to the tree in the ground, pinned by a sharp piece of bark, you find a small piece of paper that I would suggest was not from Sazigi's stock, because I believe Sazigi does not have any paper, but rather stolen from someone who does have paper. I'm looking at it, and I'm trying right. reading it. What does it say? You see a hastily scrawled note, and I want you to roll... I want you to roll an intelligence save to make sure you can read it. Saving throw or not a check? Yeah, this is an issue with Sazigi's writing. handwriting. Is it yeah. chicken scratch? <laughs> yes, exactly. Okay. So you make out the word sorry and the word ran. Um, okay, so that I'm going I'm like shaking people awake. I'm like, um, guys, I think our friend just got taken from us. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna slide I'm gonna slide out of my everybody, watch out in the tree. Yeah, I'm, I'm showing everybody the note. Do I have to right, do every- intelligence or Investigation. Uh, yes. Okay. Let's get an intelligence save from everyone who tries to read the note. <laughs> All right. Can I read the note? <laughs> it's not happening. You make up Negative the words. Negative one to intelligence saves. Yeah. Oh, thank God. We'll actually Whoa. continue with the story. Someone We're not can going read. On this Someone punch. can read. <laughs> oh my okay. gosh. All right. So, uh, Alec, please hands the note to Eva. Eva reads reads it and only is able to make out the words sorry ran and meat yeah i okay. i got another word what you only read two words i got three i handed, yeah. I handed althea over takes, althea takes the note and manages to read the whole thing which oh. reads sorry friends i ran off to join the marathon i took the meat with me but don't worry you should be able to make plenty more from the lions yeah that's true your we also friend sisiji I like to imagine there's a little flower there. <laughs> like, yeah, you see me and Yeva just going like, I don't know, where do, where do you think she would have gone? As like, <laughs> as, uh, as Althea's just reading it, like, Where's the food? Perfectly calm. I think Althea made that up, but that's, yeah, but that makes more sense. Um, I am going to fold the piece of paper up, put it in my pocket, shake my head a little bit, and be like, I am sure that she'll be back. And then I am going to, like, remember something and pull out the pouch that I found on the beach and hand it to Alicles and say, no, you have two pockets. All right, um, and I'll tie it uh, next to my uh, next to the other one, and I'll try and find another rock, and I'll put it in. So I have right. two, a rock in each pocket. I think we should bring this, uh, bring our bounty back. What do we say? Um, how, um, how many lions do we have? You have managed to kill four lions. I want you to roll survive, Me? Josh. Yes. I don't want to. We might have rolled last time, but I don't know. We did roll last 17. time. 17. All right, so... Alicles has one of their heads, and then in the process of skinning, he manages to get four pretty intact lion pelts. Four. And also, yes, and also harvests seven claws and six fangs. I'm adding them to my inventory. And now it's time to return to Thebes. Transition sound. I believe you will be re-entering from the gate of Ogiga Guy. We'll move over there for right now. And at the gate... At the gate, we are big chillin'. And you are not the only ones who are big chillin'. If you want to start from up there, that's cool. You can jump down and just take we're doing, massive we're amounts doing of damage. Of, <laughs> with this, with a picture like this, we're doing kind of a we're doing kind of a visual novel type thing. So, Rick where is Rick has just been informed that the burgers are in fact ready. Rangerius Rictheos disappears into the gate. 
The fateful okay. meeting is not happening. Um, <laughs> and I like see his character disappear from behind the gate. Can we make this like a thing? And I'm just like, all right. I'm like, I'm gonna keep a note of what he looks like because I'm we like bump, intrigued. I bump shoulders with yes. Character. As you as you see this mysterious man disappear back into the city, you feel the strings of fate just kind of twang ever so slightly, as though they're being played like a chord on a harp. You do not feel pulled towards him, yet you do feel their subtle influence. And in the back of your mind, you imagine you'll see him again. In any case, there is still this charismatic stranger perched upon the walls of the city. Hello down there! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Can you help me? <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm gonna look up. Okay, I'm looking up. Who do? I, what do I see? Do you, I cue intro, character? penguin. This is the intro. Say your name, like who you are, what you want to be called by on here. And tell us about your character and one fun fact about your character. Hello, everyone. You probably know and hate me. My name is Don Penguini. Sometimes when we play Unite, I'm playing a character. His name is Demos. He's a necromancer. He was raised by a circus trope. He is the son of Thanatos who kind of dislikes him as a son at this point because he keeps attempting to resurrect the dead. That's a great uh, fun fact, yeah. Fun fact, he has daddy issues. He has too. daddy issues. <laughs> this party's getting no, a lot of great. He doesn't have, no, his daddy, his dad has son issues. He doesn't care about his dad. <laughs> he's, just like, he's just like, oh, hey dad, what's up? Stop trying to raise the dead. Grandma's not coming back. He, don't keep trying. <laughs> I, I'm a very short, about five foot, little, maybe a little less than five foot guy in, in cloaked, studded armor. Wears a wears a mask because he's constantly around corpses, so it's more or less for safety rather than it is for aesthetic. Uh, he wear, normally wears all white just to, and is meticulous about keeping it clean because he hates the idea of dirt but loves the idea of the undead. Contrarian, but that's the way he is. And is currently 20 feet above you attempting to find a way down. I turn to the other two that are currently... Um, at the bottom of this cliff is... I use Misty Step and I'm up there with him. <laughs> uh, guys? I look to the one person <laughs> that is now with me. How do we get them both down safely? <laughs> My friend, okay, I'm I'm now doing... that you're stuck up here with me and just as dumb as I am, would you like a gold piece to be my friend and get me out of here? <laughs> I was gonna barter, but yeah, I shake your hand and I take the gold piece. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do like this, and I'm just like, oh, I'm not so good. Okay. I look down and check. He's up. cool, guys. <laughs> I can see that. Okay, I don't have anything to help you guys get down. Can you heal me uh, if I jump? Eva, I don't know if you have rope, but also if you want to do a sick flip and jump down I'm already here, jumping I can into the water. and will heal you. <laughs> I was gonna try. Hold and on, catch hold you. on, hold on, hold on. I, <laughs> I can try. I'm to here. Catch you. <laughs> Is Eva jumping into the water, or is Eva jumping onto one of his friends? I want to go into the water. The All right. Water? You wait. That Eva. part is shallow. The, we remember we walked across the water. We didn't even have to swim. I did. I struggled. Yeah, you swam on the wrong side. I went into which the. Is exactly why, went... Which is exactly why he would jump into the water. Mm -hmm. All okay. right. Acrobatics. Oh boy, I have a negative is... one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I made it! Oh, how do you... Wait! I rolled a nat one! <laughs> oh, no. I, I am so glad and my this is the last broke we heard down. of Yeva. <laughs> I... Listen, no! No! I said acrobatics! Oh, 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 you have to re -roll. You're saved. You're saved. You're saved. You're easy, saved. easy. I'm going to pull up the greatest roll of my life. Oh, man, that was my warm up. Okay. Oh. There we go. <laughs> you literally could have died from that. <laughs> I bet you. Here's a gold I piece. Have... Thank you. Jumps dies. Oh shit! A corpse resurrect. Thank you. <laughs> I might have. I might have just made you crippled for life. <laughs> I might have. I might have just been like, all right, your ability, your ability score in strength and dexterity goes down by five. 
you leap from your high place and spin around to land feet first. Unfortunately, you land feet first into water up to your shins. So your your legs are your legs are stinging a bit. You just hear the splash and ah! I'm gonna backflip <laughs> back into the water on top of him. I, I will yell before you start jumping. I will catch you. Okay, deal. I'm gonna backflip straight into uh, Alicles. I'm gonna backflip straight into Alicles. Acrobatics. All right, I need a dexterity saving throw from <laughs> Alicles. To catch or to dodge? <laughs> I'll catch can you. I, can I? Can I give Alicles the help action by also trying to be like there to help catch? Sure. This was meant to be a yeah. joke, and now we're taking Take damage. <laughs> Take advantage. Take advantage. Yeah! Okay. <laughs> good. 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 Oh, you. A nine. It's uh, it's a group effort, but you catch him, and none of you take damage. What about the man who's nearly paralyzed in the shallow water? <laughs> I, I'm good. I'm great. <laughs> I, I little, turn little around and I look. I I look at Eva, and like, what what's your facial expression looking like? Is it like a like? <laughs> I, I watched you catch this stranger. And not me. So my face is, <laughs> I'm a little puzzled. But I, I dust the water out of my boots and uh, I walk over and say I didn't need any help. I would have catched you too. You just jumped too fast for me. No, kind literally. strangers, thank you. However, now because you have saved me, I am indebted to you and will not leave. That's right. This is the okay. guy. This is the guy I was telling you about. Up, up, up when I was up top before I jumped. I like him. <laughs> You like you like four, right? That's your that's your. I think there should be four fates. Well, I think there's four of us. I say he comes with us. I say we take over the fates. Oh no, I I agree. I I've been feeling nervous all morning with our trio, so this makes me feel better. And then I'm gonna reach my hand out and ask if you would like some healing. I am fine and dandy. Thank you. I'm, I'm talk. I'm not talking to you, motherfucker. I'm talking. <laughs> Dang! <to you. laughs> I'm not. My character is gonna shake his hand as if he doesn't need it, pretend to trip, and uh, touch the hand on purpose to take the healing. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I will understand this. There's no way that I don't understand. Oh this. yeah, with a six performance. <laughs> I think yeah. Demos also. I'm going to cast healing word and give you ten health points. And what was Back. the word of today? You catch my hands and I go, <coughs> loser. <coughs> anyway. The healing word of today <laughs> is loser. loser. For the audience loser. at home, write that one down. We got goat man and loser. They're Guys, all directed. My... <laughs> all right. So now here you people. are back in the city of Thebes. City of Thebes is nuts. Um, got him. Okay. Um, so, you were told to take the lion trophies to the Temple of Dionysus. I know there's, like, the cult of Athena, but, like, Heracles has, like, a following, right? Yes. Here? What, what, okay, yes. two questions, then. What are they called? They're called the Elysium Alliance. Okay, so how does the Elysium Alliance feel about us killing a bunch of their sacred animal? They were, don't, you don't remember Heracleos saying he was going to get the boys together to go do that himself? I don't remember that. Thank you for answering my question. That is, anyway, yes. let's that move is, on. All right. So you're entering from the gate here. Based on the information that you have been given, you're supposed to return, well, Penguin, your character would not know this. But the other characters know that uh, they were told to turn the lion trophies in to the priestess at the theater slash temple of Dionysus, which is here. Start now their, their guide, Heracleos, who suggested they could return to him if they wanted to, was last seen in the Agora Academy. Okay. Is any, but yeah, that's the question. He said that he would talk for us. Would I think we should probably bring him with us instead of just like kind of like dropping him off. I know he said we could, but I think having just uh, someone who sent us on our quest with us yeah. After would be the best. That's Al good. Althea would have strong opinions about getting somebody else to speak for us if we're dealing with the people who really like Dionysus, because she really does not like Dionysus. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So I would like someone to speak for us. So let's go try to find. Let's go try to find our boy. All right. We are returning to the Agora Cadbi. Yeah, baby! The stairs where the discus happened. This is where the magic happened. The stairs happened. of the discus event, yes. Yeah. So here we are in the Agora. It is once again bustling with people, as it was before. Roll perception 
to see if yeah. you can find them. Yeah. Okay, perception, perception, perception. Ooh. Perception. Eyes Ooh. like a hawk. <laughs> yes. I always remember the man who beat me in a bet. He has four of my yeah. gold. <laughs> Al Althea back. does not see Heracles. Eva, however, finds him, and in fact, he is not alone. Do any of us know who the second person that Heracles is with is? Can I do a investigation? Or... Who sure. is Heracles' roll shoddy bay? <laughs> <laughs> sure, roll on. Sorry. Let's say hypothetically, if you if you said that, no, no, it was a melody no, in my not, eyes, no. my head, my head. Oh, in my yeah, come rolling on. investigation. Oh, I'm on oh. it today. I, oh my gosh, that's a nightmare. All right, so you can tell based on the way that she's dressed that she's a priestess, and you do notice that she is wearing a she is wearing a floral crown and. She is also wearing a medallion with a lyre. Because um, Alicles think... will not um, does not want to talk to either of these two people, knowing who they both are. And All we'll right. Kind of stay, stay from the side. Am I just getting sent as the messenger? Are you? No, I'll walk up with you. I'm okay. I'm happy to talk to these people. I'll walk up with you. <laughs> I'll walk up too, just to be like, hey, what's up? <laughs> I, I grabbed the uh, the pelts from Josh. This is the new guy. I, I yeah. grabbed the pelts from. I'll uh, give Alice. I'll give you I'll give you everything, and I will go to the bag salesman, uh, one of my friends that we found from the last episode. Okay. And just go to find him and talk to him for a little bit. I'm gonna, I think you should show him that you now have two pockets. That's true. I should show him that, and you know what? I will. Eva is going to talk with Alicles and say, hey, after we're done here, since you don't seem to want to talk to these people, we will meet you back at the bag merchant that you got your sweet pocket for a sweet deal. And I, I will head over. Ah, you've returned, Heracleos says. I start to fall to a knee and then kind of remember and pop back up. Oh, this again. Oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, we we have done as you've requested. Well, that's fantastic. Where are all of the lion trophies? I roll them out and show him our four lion trophies. Oh my goodness. This is good. I suppose we should take them to the Temple of Dionysus. Yes. He handsomely rewarded for all of these. Would you like a small cut as you've given us our, our first mission? <laughs> Since we will, well, uh, we would love to rely on you to speak for us, as you seem to know what's going that's on. That's very generous of you. I would. Sure, I would be willing. But look, in this in this city, it's equally as important to have connections with people as it is to have finances. Drachmas. Thank you. Yeah, finances. Yeah. yeah, but I need money for other situations. Maybe uh, getting know, a corpse who is, who is this? Who is this white-clad fellow here? Don't worry, I don't get a portion, sir. <laughs> All right. Oh, he, we kind of rescued him. He was fine. This is Dan. Oh. This is a man we met at the gate, and we brought him with us after we rescued him. So I'd hope you well, don't mind him tagging along as long as he can. Oh, of Mouth course. Shut. You do seem to have a unique talent for making friends. Speaking of which, I, should, I suppose I should introduce you to my friend. He says, patting the patting the young woman next to him on the shoulder. Who do we have the pleasure of meeting? This is Ismia. She inclines her head slightly in greeting to you. I wave okay. very enthusiastically. Your friend sure seems in good spirits. It's his quirk. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Ismia, the priestess of the Ismian Apollo, and an oracle. I fall to a knee. What's my oh, fortune? Oh, oh, okay. I suppose that's I suppose that's fair for me. Good, good. So this was an actual out of character, was this an actual good fall to a knee? <laughs> It makes a little more sense to okay. it makes a little more sense to fall to a knee for a priestess of Apollo. It's not necessary, obviously, but it makes a little more sense than okay. I'm gonna just step a, a Heracles super fan. I wrote down in my notes Heracleos plus Ismia sitting in a tree, and that will help me remember, hey, yeah, <laughs> remember yes, these guys. I -N -G. Yes, well, Ismia, I don't suppose you would mind joining us at the Temple of Dionysus, now would you? To which she says, "Oh no, of course not. I." I don't have so I don't have quite so much to do. The festival is less of an less of an issue for those of us serving Apollo. My character's interest has peaked after Althea has read the note, and I am going to ask, what kind of events are going on at this festival? Any sporting or athletics? Oh, of course. 
Always. Though the, uh, <laughs> I believe the main sport that we engage in around this festival is drinking en masse, in excess. It's uh, really quite impressive. I'm sold. Well, fantastic. We might have to join you after we have our talk. Oh, you are going to have a marvelous time in the festival. So now we move to the theater slash temple of Dionysus. I'll say my character notices that everyone's walking away and join in with the group. I'm gonna look at uh, Alec, please, and be like, hey, good talk. Yeah, he absolutely loved the second bag, and I wish I could get a third. I'll keep my eye out for one. I'm gonna pat Demos on the back and ask, hey, so uh, you're interested in drinking. I'm a little bit of a lightweight, but drink a choice. Uh, I prefer red wine. It's, uh, Goes down a little bit nicer. I agree. All right, we we may actually be friends, and I continue walking. As you say that, um, uh, Alecles goes. I bet I could drink you under the table. Challenge accepted. <laughs> I may be I'm... short in stature, but I will outdrink you. I'm gonna and laugh. You... And say, I <laughs> He's bet like I could a clean watch. foot and a half above you. <laughs> He's towering over you. I will <laughs> take that gamble. <laughs> Her- Heracleos gives you a knowing glance, but chooses to say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> now, the temple happens, it will not be represented in this picture, obviously, but the temple happens to be pretty crowded. Different temple workers, more small-time priests, and members of the theater are running about getting things organized for the festival. Loving this atmosphere. How big is this area? The theater is very large. Not, obviously not so large that people sitting on the peripheries couldn't hear someone on the stage. Okay. But still, for, yeah, about as about as large as a Grecian theater can be. And then very nearby the theater is the actual temple building. Gotcha. Okay, thank you. And there is a woman standing near the temple. Heracleos points her out. That there is the high priestess of Dionysus. Can I go say hi? Does she, does she have <laughs> that animal with her? Yes, she does. That is her that is her pet leopard. Let's go and speak with him. And Heracleos just kind of pushes his way through the crowd will, with Ismian by his side. I follow behind his giant bolding ball sized arms and it clearly get us through this. I'm gonna crowd. run ahead and just wave hi. I'm gonna hang hang back a little bit. Like I'm very obviously a part of this group, but I am not in the front. <laughs> Heracleus calls out, "Oh, Ayana!" Ayana rubs her temples in vague frustration and says to Heracleus, "Well, how do you think it's going for the festival? Oh, I still have so much to do, so much to prepare. It begins in seven days, and people outside of the city are still dying." I'll interject with that, and I'll say. We heard that you had a uh, somewhat of a pest problem, um, and we have dealt with it in a sort of way. And I'll like show her um, all the trophies that we uh, got from the lions. Oh my! Wow! I am I'm impressed. Did you manage to kill and skin four lions? Yes, we did. Hmm. Interesting. She raises a hand and snaps her fingers at which a temple attendant brings her an urn. She takes the urn and pours a small amount of wine onto the lion trophies. Okay. The wine turns green and disappears without leaving any stain or moisture behind. Um, Alecles is a little confused of what just happened and will be like, interesting, what did you just do? Magic wine. Amazing. Uh, can I try to oh. decipher what was happening? Uh, just but to see what kind of magic that was. Roll like Arcana. 14. It is god magic. This substance has clearly been given to her by Dionysus himself. I'm going to keep okay. that fact to myself. The yeah, rest interject of it. like while we're doing yeah. it. <laughs> I'll tell right. us after, yeah. Might impress her. Her- Heracleos turns to you and says, well, Iona has clearly determined that these are legitimate articles. Yeah, with I asked how magic. many people come in with fake lion pelts. <laughs> well, it isn't necessarily an issue of being fake. There are those who can use their twisted magic to conjure fake lion pelts. Then there are also those who steal them. Makes sense to me. We, we earned our keep, and we're paying heed to the, the words of Heracleos here. So we're yes, glad they're to are. your liking. 
Hmm, let's see. Looks like you have four pelts there. I can offer you 10 gold drachmas per pelt. I, l- I would say, we'll take it. it sounds like a fair deal in art. Uh, Is that in character? No. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's, not my, it's not mine to deal. I could, okay, okay. Can I roll... Or is there any way would my character know what the prices are? Maybe you've run with poachers before. Why don't you roll insight? Okay, that is going to be a nat twenty. Let's go. <laughs> I, I think he. I think he succeeded. <laughs> you do come to the conclusion that ten gold drachmas is a reason, a perfectly reasonable price for a lion pelt. But you could probably not. No, not probably. You could get 12. After looking into these pelts, checking their quality, and realizing that Alicles has had actually chopped one of the heads off, thinking I'm thinking, no, nah, well, I do think 10 is fair for market price. However, with this, this head we have here, I think 12 is also a great price, especially with us thinking to be repeat customers for you. We'd like to do a lot of business. I was wondering where the heads were. Look at that. You have a head. My well, that certainly changes things. All right, 12 gold drachmas per pelt, and I'll give you an extra 10 for the head. Uh, you know, those those things aren't hard to take down, I tell you what. But uh, it sounds like you, you're having some sort of problem outside the city, is that so? Oh, yes. Oh, it's not just the lions. There's been an increase in crime as well. There's bandits prowling about. Yes, we've recently abandoned farmland and outposts in the mountains and near the rivers and the bandits have taken up there. Ugh. I just despise it. (laughs) Any other information about these bandits other than they are (laughs) slaughtering innocents? Oh. Well, regrettably, a number of them were soldiers. Spies. Yes. Did you say? Were they, did they have wings? Turncoats <laughs> have no place in this realm. Let's kill them all. I, I this, this man, I, this, uh, this, this man, we are, we're taking under our refuge. We have just rescued him. He does not speak for our group. Funny, we like him. He's our, he's our court jester <laughs> as of now. So, eat him no mind until we come back with these bandits, and we'll, we'll see if he's worth. Hey, his penguin, battle. roll a, roll a charisma saving throw. Oh, saving throw. That makes me nervous. You get smote down. Ayana finds you inoffensive and mildly amusing. Alecles will be serious though when he says it seems like um, there were like people who were spies, um, kind of like infiltrating or like being so they were soldiers and now they're not making making them making him think that they were spies. And he knows he killed two spies last session, and will ask about did they have wings per chance? No. No, these soldiers did not have wings. I don't believe they were spies either. They were born and raised in Boeotia. Can never be too safe. No, that's fair. And then you'll see Alecles will just go back to this like, hmm, and he'll keep thinking about those birds. I interject and I'm, I'm going to ask, because I feel in this situation, if I hear that soldiers uh, have deserted to make bandit camps, I, I would like to ask how the food situation is in the army and see if there's anything we could do to try to either reenlist them or capture them. The food situation in the army? Well, I don't suppose it's a food issue. We have plenty of that. No. Are the coffers running dry? I'm, I believe that may have more to do with this. I think these soldiers figured they could earn more gold earn more drachmas, I should say, with banditry than with being honest soldiers. I seem to recall hearing someone in the oligarchy say that there were soldiers who were considering becoming mercenaries and serving the Athenian Federation. Been very helpful, thank you. I happen to have a network of merchants that I am in league with, and I will put my feelers out to what other information we can find? If we clear these bandit camps, can we get promise of compensation? Promise of compensation? Lions? Hmm. As a matter of fact, yes, you can. I do a, a little in a respectful bow and I'll back up. How very kind of you. Yes, each bandit is worth 15 gold drachmas, dead or alive. What is the proof we need to bring back to uh, confirm their death? 
dog tags. Be creative. Fuck, okay. they're pinkies. Do you have a preference of if you would like them more dead or more alive? Ah, it doesn't matter to me. Do we get Found a goal? Do we get a? Do we get some money if we uh, bring them back and they t return to the army? Oh, surely. You will be paid either way. There's nothing to worry about that. Peace. In fact, I have been told by the oligarchy that whoever chases the bandits away from any specific plot of land may also lay claim to that same land. Though for that, you're going to need to square everything away with the oligarchs themselves. Not that that should be too difficult. We can have a Stardew Valley farm, guys! I can raise corpses there. The new crop. <laughs> Thank you for the information. I think I want to get a sidebar with our group to, to, to discuss how we want to deal with this. What does everybody else think? Hunting bandits, hunting bandits, hunting bandits, hunting bandits. We will make sure to do uh, this job as fast as we can, but also as safe as possible. Well, uh, out of character. Is Demos uh, like humming to himself, hunting bandits, just kind of off to the side? Yeah. Okay. Can I can I grab Four him by the ear like, ahead, like rivers painted red when the soldiers of fortune hunt for bandits? <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna grab him and drag him away because we're starting to walk and he didn't come because he's just he's over here. Do you like the Brock Taking thing in yeah. the Pokemon show? Misty and Brock. <laughs> Do you like a Rogunk like poison jab? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. There's no need for such violence. So I have 58 gold from. Um, the head and the pelts being sold. We still have seven fangs and six claws. Um, we can absolutely sell those at the market when we come back from the bandits. Yeah. I think that we should get the stuff from the bandits and then go sell things. Yeah. Um, I was just letting you guys know what our inventory yeah, is looking like. You guys should distribute yeah. your gold first. This is in character. Yeah, I was about to get to that because Al Althea has thoughts about everything being very equal. <laughs> <laughs> Zigi needs money and, and we did promise Heracleos a cut. So we have 58, 10 for each of us, 8 for Heracleos. I say we give 2 to our newly found friend. So if we have ten 50... for each of us, two for two for demos, six for Heracleos. That sound reasonable. That would be forty-eight because there's uh, yeah. yeah. Like oh, 48. gosh darn yeah, it! You're song. right. Um, well, we could uh... do we could, we could yeah, 12, 12 for each of us, and then eight for Heracleos because that would be like yeah, that works for me. And then what is or... demos? Get? No, ten. There would be ten left. So then let's give demos two gold. We'll give Heracleos eight, and each of us get twelve. That's fifty-eight. With your kind gift, I requ I must make a request. Can I stop and get some arrows? <laughs> of course. Yeah, you got. Here's two gold <laughs> to get you some arrows. Buy yourself some Whoa. nice. Also, so everyone the... got twelve, and You've... I will not be giving Heracleos the money, but I will give it to. I'll give it to Althea. I was gonna say, demos very loudly shouts, "Woo!" As your money is being counted from the coffers of the temple. Ayana says, and now it is strange that you didn't bring back any claws or fangs. Uh, I don't suppose you intend on keeping those, do you? You guys can get more. I can get more. We Give me a third piece. actually did, and we do intend on selling them. Are you interested in buying? I could give you a gold drachma for each claw and two for each fang. Um, That'd be 20 gold for us. Eva is nodding. Give five to each of you guys. Yeah, that works. Right. Very well done. It makes it easier for us. After this happens, my character has to I'm gonna pay off uh, five gold, if that's cool, to put me down to 23. All right. I'll just keep a tally on how much, I, much I'm owed, but that's my first payoff. With five. All right. Althea, do you want to give Heracleos his, the cut that we promised? Oh, yeah. I'm going to turn around, and I am going to give... We decided eight, right? Eight. I'm going to give Heracleos eight gold and say uh, to future business adventures and to friendship. Received. Thank you very much. Well, we will see you when we get back and um, good health to you and your friends. Thank you kindly. Now then, Ismia, should we help them prepare for the festival? To which like Ismia says, oh, fine. I also uh, will talk to Heracleos after this. Like uh, when everyone is like kind of walking away, like pull up aside. All right now, Eva. 
Mm-hmm. Eva but makes his is- way to Melia, the fountain of the Ismias. Yes, an eddy in the river where much of the drinking water in Thebes comes from. Also the bathing water. You do not bathe in the fountain, of course. That is... <laughs> that very, is taboo. <laughs> very, very against the law. <laughs> Front dives in it. <laughs> Front flips. That's, that's like KOS against the law. <laughs> I think my character yes. is adverse to jumping into water after his mm-hmm. earlier endeavor. Good. Near the fountain... You meet a very short look, a very short man covered from head to toe in cloak and cowl. Because of that, you cannot tell if this is a pygmy or a satyr. I would like to speak to this short stranger in the cant. Have a normal conversation. All right. All right Your I'm conversation gonna... in Thieves' cant is brief and mainly boils down to this stranger asking you if you have any, you have any payments for your debts. In which I look around, and I do a perception to make sure we're not getting watched. Yes. 20. Mm, very good. What do I There say? are other people going about their business near the fountain. They are paying absolutely no attention to you or the stranger. Very calmly, I'm going to pull out five gold drachma, and place it into his hand, and a sixth I will pull out and ask him for information on the camp with the bandits to the south to... If he or any of network of the nature spirits have heard anything that we have not, well, like weapons or um, if they've seen any magic. As a matter of fact, I have heard some information. You see, we do know that one of the bandits who abandoned the army had a gift for magic. Been very, very helpful. Thank you. I would like to, after I've finished my business with this merchant, I would like to head back with the group. All right. The group is shopping for arrows. Yes. <laughs> Just are. before that, um, when everyone was leaving, like initially after that, I wanted to pull Heracleos aside, just me and him, and ask him a question. Is that okay if we? Oh, okay. Like, yeah. Back, we'll go, go back, back a little to. Bit? We'll go back to the Temple of Dionysus. Yeah. Just to. All right. So I'll just pull him aside. It's just me and him. Okay. And I'll I'll quietly kind of like ask him, have you heard from Heracleos? Or not Heracleos, that's his name. I'm an idiot. Have you heard from Heracles in a while? Hmm. Well, as a matter of fact, I'm afraid not. Thank you. And he'll walk away and he'll walk away and meet up with the rest of the group. Weapons are not sold in the Agora Academia, unfortunately. They are instead sold in the Academia, the, the main the citadel of the oligarchy of Thebes. Of course, upon arriving at the front entrance, you are stopped by the guards who ask you what business I'm in. Oh, what well, lively individual. <laughs> what business have you in the Academia? Buy the arrows. We oh. uh, pay him no mind, please, and thank you. I appreciate it. Um, we we'll intend on taking out the bandits that have been plaguing your city, and we need to stock up on a couple things before we go out. Well, the oligarchs will be quite pleased to hear that. I suppose you can buy, you say? Well, then, I suppose you can buy whatever you may need for such an adventure. Thank you very much. Come with us. They lead you inside the citadel towards the armory. As we walk into the gate, I'm gonna pull demos aside. Hey, hey, hey! I, I love, I love your energy. You're, you're here. You. You're here. This, this is, this is top level energy. But in this city, that save that for the battlefield. I want you, I want you here. You follow our lead. Trust us. We're, we're great at, at getting. We're gonna get you things for cheaper. We're gonna, we're gonna find ways to get you arrows. And then when you're on the battlefield, you can prove yourself with this go getter attitude. Because this is a fast pace working environment. And we need to know if you are the intern. Uh, I look over, and make sure these other people are out of shot. Unpaid, uh, unpaid <laughs> intern that we need for the job. Do you think you can handle this fast-paced environment? I understand, and I would like to be paid though. But other than that, I will attempt to keep it down. That's great. Our unpaid intern. I like you. And I'm being paid. 
<laughs> agree to disagree. <laughs> can I can I we try to, to hear agree. what's I'm happening okay. in the conversation? You can probably hear it. I didn't pull it before. Yeah, no. Okay. I will say when when he goes, I want to be paid. I think I'll just say unpaid and keep walking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna look at both of them. I'm gonna do this to to Alicles and to um, Eva. Yep. I'll, I'll look at Alicles and Eva, and I'm I'm gonna like point at both of them and go zip it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna point at demos <laughs> and be like. Don't worry about it. It's good. And I'm not saying, like, you're gonna get paid, but I'm basically being, like, chill. Like, don't worry about it, dog. I got you. <laughs> Can I, <laughs> in out of, like, shot <laughs> of Althea, try to turn my head to him and just shake my head no? <laughs> 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 try want, to stealth I, that brother. okay well that's gonna have to be contested because i understand that this is something that you will try to do and my one mission in life is to make things fair and oh i know that's why i knew it was gonna be contested i was just saying like what would um they all right i need do? a i need a stealth from alicles and a perception from althea you're not getting paid, yeah, yeah. brother. You're not getting I paid. A, I have a plus three. <laughs> I have a plus two. I have a plus three. This is one of my best stats, and I have never rolled above a seven. If I don't get paid, you don't get healed. You don't get buffed. We're gonna we're gonna judge <laughs> you. At, we're gonna see if you're gonna be a, a paid or unpaid intern when we get to these bandits. So you do well. You keep that energy on the battlefield up here, like you've been, and you keep it in the city, a, just a teeny bit back. We will. We'll, we'll make sure you get some copper and silver, maybe gold, drachma. And I look at uh, Althea to see if she's gold. You'll get some. You'll get some gold, drachma, possibly. Yeah, just. Okay, so I'm gonna cast thaumaturgy. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> yes, down. I fucking am. I'm gonna fucking cast thaumaturgy. I'm gonna cast Damn. my one cast of wish and <laughs> make him so any gold he touches, it disappears. No, it goes in my pocket. No. <laughs> you, you have wish. no wish. You don't. No, of no. course. Do you think I would a level three character would have ninth level spell wish? Maybe, maybe you had like a ring that gave it to you. <laughs> yeah, I actually have a ring of three wishes with one charge left, and it's going to be that you can't hold money. <laughs> you have to put it on Alicles' pocket. <laughs> yeah, my, you get one pocket. I have two now, all right? I hold your wallet at all times. Deal. All right, let's My continue. guy just very excitedly, like, jumps at uh, the idea of, or at the prospect of getting gold. All right. Just like, woohoo! And then he just suddenly seems calm. Okay. Yes. This, this exchange has continued long after you have come to a stop in front of the armory. <laughs> the guards look at you and say, are you finished? Of course. We, uh, interns, yeah, we're finished. interns am we're I right? <laughs> all right. And right. I'm, I'm going, I'm going to thaumaturgy my voice into, into all three of their ears and just go zip it. <laughs> and then I will unstealthily go. <laughs> I'll just give him a thumbs up. But I will, uh, I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna do this to you. I'll I'm gonna I'm gonna do it back <laughs> while casting the, the lightning. Now. So there's gonna be lightning sparks coming out of it. <laughs> no, but can you do this? Uh, uh. Do this. <laughs> this is pretty impressive. That's wavy. Nice, wavy. nice job, did. Alex. Thank you. All right. Can you do this? So <laughs> I'm so glad you're back for Two this. Two birds. Anyway, oh. Are these the spies? Can we please get some arrows? Oh my god! <laughs> I am... Uh, the arrows. I am, I, I am running a game for children. Again. No, the children were easier to corral than this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because they didn't have, like, social stuff that we could manipulate. Exactly. We are in the armory. Yes. Mm -hmm. Where? What am I looking at? Are there weapons to buy? Is it literally you, okay, just you arrows are not, to buy? You are not, in, you are not inside oh. the armory. You can see through the doors into the armory where there are in fact. I very calmly just walk fast. in. Yeah. The guards stop you. <laughs> oh. It was a good. It was a good try. We have to. We have to get checked Whoa. in. You don't know the customs. Whoa! Here. Easy, easy there, sir. My we'll we'll get you. We'll get you cheese. Hmm, I could go for some cheese. Anyway, we'll get you, we'll get you what you need, but we will go inside. That makes sense. I had no idea the customs of the city. My apologies. Uh, cheese is accepted. Anyway, 
Oh, goodness, I'm hungry now. What is it you need? Arrows. Arrows. Your Arrows. highest quality. Mm. Of course. What might be the price of these arrows that we would be Well, for? interesting you should say that. Out of character, I want everybody to know I fully plan on bribing this guy with food for a cheaper price. Fully plan on doing that. Perfect. Um, <laughs> it works for me. Well, we we do have them properly bundled together, so one golden drachma will get you 20. 20? That's a good price. Um, can I, as somebody who was in the army, can I history check that and see if, like, I remember that being a good going price for arrows? Mm-hmm. All right, negative one, baby, let's go. Do it. Cry. I have no idea. I was a medic, so I didn't, I never, I don't even know what an arrow is. Okay. Um, yeah, honestly, you think that this is just utterly outrageous. You should get 20, you should get, you should it's not a great be getting deal, horrible. 50 arrows for a gold drachma. As far as you are thinking, you should be getting 50 arrows for one gold drachma. I'm not going to let her bribe. I'm not going to let her uh, attempt to finesse. I'm going to say thank you, and I'll buy two. All right. Two gold drachmas gets this... you 40 arrows. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to let you finesse anything. I'm I don't you. know uh, demos enough to try to interject, but just know that because I think this is real and because I need things to be fair, I'm fucking fuming. I'm literally about to cast second level inflict wounds because I'm so mad that this isn't fair and it needs to be fair. I will say nothing. I would like to try to persuade. Fair. Oh no. I'm going to actually can I can I walk around the corner and uh use disguise self away from people? Sure. All right, I would like to use disguise self. Pop that, pop that description of disguise self in the chat real quick. Okay. Oh, I used my ranger used to have disguise self. I miss that spell. One thing that my um my campaign uh, did make note of. You can only make yourself one foot higher or one foot shorter. They tried to make themselves like a disguise self into a giant. You can't do that. No, you cannot. I would like to, what I was going to try to do is turn myself into one of the guards that was outside the gate that did not walk us in. And I'm going to pretend I'm walking up and I'm going to just, um, and I'm going to make it, if that's fine, as long as all this right, works. All right, all right. So you did happen to see another guard patrolling the walls and you've disguised yourself as him. Okay. And uh, out of out of character, here's what I'm going to try to do. You can allow this or not, but I was going to try to talk and persuade the guards and be like, hey, you... Did you actually sell him that for... I thought there were 25. Are you guys taking a bigger cut than usual? Is kind of like what I'm going to go for to see if we can get a... Uh, 25 arrows for 20 well, gold, you know. You will absolutely have to roll persuasion. Okay, so then back in character. I have transformed a disguise self into one of the guards that was up on the wall. And I walk into uh -huh. the other two guards and I... 20 arrows for one drachma? Oh, come on. Cut the kids a break. Just a 10. That is unfortunate. Oh, they mean... look at you. They look at you with their eyebrows cocked and say, "What? What are you talking about?" <laughs> uh... I'm gonna. <laughs> These can are I? Brutal. Can I interject into this conversation? I mean, I'm standing. I can hear it, but yeah, would yes, that upset you can. Anybody? You can. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna say, "Oh, I I appreciate your kindness, but I." I understand that the prices may be raised for first-time buyers because they don't know what we're going to do with these. If we're repeat trustful customers, then I assume that we'll get the prices that most people can get, but I, I appreciate it. The and arrows I are bundled together <laughs> in bundles of 20. They... This is why I don't like one gold. The, the, Each bundle is so worth one fun. gold drachma. I. What is. What is. Sir, I'm sorry for my friends. They're my jesters. Let, so you're right. You're right. Let, let, me around, es, let me escort these. Let me escort them out. <laughs> and I I start shooing the rest of. The rest of our party out. And I go. We go to leave. And as we walk through the gate, I'm going to try to find a slot where they're not around me. Like they can't see me. And the other guard that was up on the gate can't. And I want to just. Or can't see me. And I want to transfer them back into oh, all right you place. drop you drop this guy's self okay all right and so we do have the 40 arrows correct 
Mm -hmm. Yes, I have. Yeah. Okay, I have good. sixty arrows now. Thanks. I thought you just. I really thought you just shoot us all the way out of this compound without a single arrow to our names. No. <laughs> no. 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 It would have been really funny. It would. Oh, it would have been hysterical. But that's not what we're doing. I have to come back and be like, "Hey, sorry, we actually did want those arrows," and they're like, "Get out of here." Yeah. So uh, we come out of the gate, and he's just chilling. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to. I'm going to look, or I'm gonna like lean into Eva. And not knowing that they... I don't know that they know each other, obviously. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be like, I saw that guy before. I'm not sure if I trust him. And get, like, really upset and kind of uncomfortable about his this person's presence. Not knowing that you guys are chill. <laughs> okay. I'm going to... This would be deception. I'm going mm -hmm. to lean in and go, I've, I've met this man once before. It's best to keep on your guard. He does talk, and you can buy him for a price. We might we might want extra hands as we go to, to fight these bang. I roll a fourteen of contest it with inside. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Your first good roll. Yeah. I'm gonna look at you and I'm gonna go. Hestia Hestia what? herself descends and whispers in your in Althea's ear. No. He's full of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. Actually, Lying. can I play that? Actually. Yes. Yeah, but I can't tell. If, okay. Yes. yes. I'm gonna look at you with like the most bewildered. I'm going to go, apparently, that was such an important lie that my <laughs> god, my godly parent told me that you were lying. I just need you to know that, okay? Like, I just need you to know I, that. Mid-sentence, I walk around and I walk over, Rangarius, and I outstretch a <laughs> hand. <laughs> I'm going to walk up and be like, what's up? <laughs> I start dying laughing. I think, <laughs> like, I'm not offended. I think this is the funniest thing that I have ever seen in my entire life. Because <laughs> I'm like, if we're messing with each other, like, we're homies, you know? Like, yeah. we are homies. And this is the funniest thing I've ever seen anybody do. <laughs> is lie so hard that my fucking mom, who's a god, was like, dude, he's full of it. <laughs> Don't tell mom. Mom, come pick me up. Right. Mom, mom, come pick They're me buying up They're arrows line. at the armory, Mom. I, I can't. <laughs> My name is Rangerius Rick, and I carry a Gastrophetes. Fetes? Fetes? I don't know. Gastrophetes. <laughs> and he constantly has gas. Yeah, <laughs> that's the, that's like the, um... Fun fact. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna say, hey guys, well, look, this is Rangerius, a merchant and uh, mercenary that I've met uh, doing odd jobs for the past years. He said he will be joining us, and I, I hand him two gold as we help take out the bandits, and he is, he's someone I trust. Very potent with that gastrophetes, and I think we could use him on the battlefield. Nice All to right. meet you. Right to be meted. All right, I'm gonna pass my spear to my non-dominant hand and hold my hand out uh, for a handshake and go, nice to meet you, name's Althea. Good I'm gonna take you. the handshake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be completely unfazed, shove the spear into like the back holding spot and put out my non-dominant hand for a handshake and say, nice to meet you, my name's Althea, I'm glad to have you aboard. I'm gonna also take that hand. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking hit you with fucking inflict wounds! I'll look at me. I'll look at him and I'll be like, don't mind them. They're my jesters. They follow <laughs> us around. No, no, no! <laughs> <laughs> I'll actually just go like, name's Alecles. Nice to meet you. I summon my mage. I summon my mage hand. <laughs> I summon my mage hand. <laughs> Kill yourself. I've got yeah. one more hand to summon. If you want me to summon a skeletal one. You know who else has one? More? No, it's a wizard spell. So <laughs> Estia's hand comes down and divinely interjects. <laughs> uh. Oh boy. Anyways. Well, yeah. Thanks, thanks for joining us, Rangerius. I, uh, I'm glad you got the message. Uh, there's a bandit camp. Uh, I believe, through the details of my of our of our network, we found that one of them is uh, highly adept in magic. So stand your toes. We're gonna want you to take him down first. Now the hunt's afoot. Let's let's go look for some thieves, shall we? Also, yes. I'm gonna do a little sidebar. I do not want us to kill these people if we can't because if we are going to get the deed of this land we're going to need people to tend it so i'm thinking slavery with, yeah with yeah. negotiations <laughs> <laughs> your honor slavery <laughs> your honor. 
I'm <laughs> thinking we can we can ask them why they've turned to bandits. You know, try to try to get on good terms, have them pay, say that we'll get this land for them legally, and have them tend to our fields. And if some of them want to, awesome. And if they don't, their fault. We have a giant <laughs> gastrofides on our side. Yeah. <laughs> I'll say what we could do is like we could like do non-lethal and trying to like like wrap them up like after the fight. Okay. And do the discussion then. But let's get to the fight first and let's see how it goes. Once we see there. the bandit camp, can I cast a spell before we head in? Like you on the outskirts. Yeah. Before we even engage, I want right, there's a spell I want to cast. Well, there's a couple actually. I'm fine with that. I want to uh, cast the spell Enhance Ability on myself, which will give me constant advantage with dex checks. Now you begin your journey towards the Scytheron Mountains. That we do. Yes, we it is a shockingly easy walk down the road. Actually, you're only able to follow the road so far coming out of the gate of Homoloides. Once you reach the river, you begin following the river. The path becomes a little bit more uneven as you have to go by rougher trails. But sure enough, you come here and you're going to enter in right about... Yes, sir, Mr. God, sir. All right, I'll 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 be walking in, kind of just, like, keeping an eye out um, for anything that's, like, freshly touched, like, uh, just put out fire or food that has just been freshly, like, eaten, kind of scattered about, trying to gauge whether or not, like, we're nearby the camp or not. All right, roll. I just saw Homo Loides. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> it it's, it's on brand. All right. <laughs> So, Alan, please, go ahead and roll nature. Ooh, 19. Nice. We're rolling good, Josh. Yeah, I, well, we're you not examine the, yet. You examine the area on this side of the river. You see that there's flattened grass, broken twigs. The dust of the gravel has been shifted ever so slightly. There were very recently people on this side of the river, but they're not there now. In fact, it seems as though their trail has led... To the other side. Okay, I'll relay this, and I will also say, is like, draw your weapons. They're probably close by. Bow time. I'm gonna yeah. take out my short bow. Pull out Just my to be great ready. Axe. Ready the gastrofides, so son. Heavily perceiving, my spear is here. And my great axe. Also and gonna, my gastrofides. <laughs> I'm gonna turn to Demos and say, "Hey." And my enthusiasm. I'm gonna point to Alicles and say, "Follow him." This is this is your chance to prove yourself. However well you do, and however much you help him, probably gonna influence how much you're paid. <laughs> I just give him a giant thumbs up. <laughs> I send it back. <laughs> I hear this, and I and I'll, I pull out a piece of paper that has check marks on kills and how much gold he gets. <laughs> I would like to change who I put this buff on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll begin slowly. I'll be taking the front and begin moving forward ever so slightly. I'm Follow. following. I'm going with. I'm actually going to hang back here with Rangarius, and I'm going to. I don't well, like that. That's, uh, that's a interesting. Short bow attack happened. Yeah, An arrow fired from a short bow comes directly towards Alicles, lodging itself in the ground very close by. Lucky for him, it was a warning shot. I'll uh, look up. Nice. I'll try. I'll track to where that arrow came from. Just kind of like seeing the uh, it thunk into the ground. It came kinda, like, the from arc. over in this direction. Hey, you want to okay. be teleported? Me? <laughs> ben. <laughs> okay. Wait, wait. Before you do that, you I will. <laughs> I will be, like do a quick little like roar of rage and bone like wings will appear once well, hold again. Hold on, hold on. Before you do that, let's actually, it was a warning shot so we should figure out what they want. I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna stroll up and You see it saying, start to happen, but then Rapunzel, I'll, I'll Rapunzel throw down your hair. There's no need for <laughs> hostility. We're not here for you. Not here for us, are you? No. So the voices, four men appear on the ridge on the other side of the river. And at this point, there. I look, after we were talking about teleportation, I look towards Demos, and I give him a wink. Once again, gives the biggest thumbs up. <laughs> David, I'm going to just try to distract them, basically. So should I just keep, should I roll for persuasion or something? Or deception? Roll performance. Okay, performance. Seven. <laughs> oh, no. What? Can I distract I... them with a flute? I just play a song? <laughs> Can I do that? 
Can like, in works. the middle of battle, I just whip out a flute. <laughs> <laughs> the one song from the last, or the latest Shrek movie, where the Pied Piper has all the ogres going. The, the oh, the, the flute cover of Shake Your Groove sign? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for knowing what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, Alright, so... First, Eva tries to do his distraction. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on one second. Let's, uh, let's roll that again. Uh-oh, Spargetti. Oh, long oh yeah. That... Alright, that's a miss, but another another arrow narrowly misses Eva. What are you trying to do? Kill me? As soon as he says that, I'll look at Deimos and I say, now. Okay. Well, I guess I'm not doing a performance. I'm now teleporting him. <laughs> <laughs> how far? Well, your, first your off, how far can you teleport me? You, no, your performance, feet. your performance distracts them enough that you are able to you are able to get this teleportation off without them shooting you. Okay, I can teleport him ninety feet, so I can teleport you right behind them. Hold on, I got it. You gonna tell me more about this? You can teleport him ninety feet. It's called vortex warp. Like, I don't know. Can what? I... Technically, you're supposed to use it against enemies, but it doesn't say you can't use it against ally on allies. Well, allies can just willingly fail. Well, yeah, willingly fail. Thank you. That's what I was looking for. It'd also be my last second level spell slot, so <laughs> if you, if you want to get back down, you're going to have to play. That's fine. So, yes, you teleport Alicles to wherever he wants to be teleported. What, where do you want to be, like, where do you want to be? I want to be, be behind him somewhere. Them. No, I want to be in front of him. <laughs> no! Surprise attacks Spartan. get automatic, like, crits or advantage or something like that. If they see me disappear, I feel like they're gonna be aware of their surroundings at that point. Well, they can. Norm try. Normally, people would normally people would disappear behind cover. Yeah, and there's a bush right behind them. Go in the bush. Also, the bush. as I as I Go see the spell the getting cast, I'm gonna yell, "Wanna see a magic trick? <laughs> <laughs> Wanna see a magic trick?" Okay, I'm, I'm gonna, 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 I'm, gonna I'm gonna have my middle finger uh, shoot sparks out. <laughs> okay, if you wanna go ahead and put me behind their behind the bush i'll be there okay move your stuff there right. you got uh you got 90 yeah i can travel you yep you got the distance you go there oh, that's yeah. actually not a bush that's a tree oh. i'll be well, in the behind tree. the burke <laughs> i'll be yeah sure i'll be behind this trunk all right roll initiative okay. yeah all of you all right. i think at this point it would be all of us yeah <laughs> i've already been shot at yeah <laughs> 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 Woo! 21 Healer with I have a point one four for some odd reason. What? I have a point .14. You have a tiebreaker. <laughs> Apparently. What? I have a, I have a point .14. Wait, wait, why do you have a 2.14 additive to you? That's know. kind of my, funny. My dex is 14. It's not 14.14. You got to recuperate yourself really quickly. Yeah, there you go. Well, that's Give him a second. Let him cook. You vote yeah. first. Yeah. All right. I would I would like to use perception, like just for a free action, just to kind of look around and see if there's any way that I can try to get to the other side. All right. Yeah. Roll nature. All right. Nature coming up. Oof. That's a nat one. <laughs> you're you are convinced that your best bet is to just walk right across the river. All right. <laughs> just All right. walk. Uh, I think with a one, I am going to have to roll on the wild magic table. So. Oh yes, you are. As I stare at this this foreign land, a power surges inside of me, and I will roll. Ah, for the next minute, you regain five hit points at the start of each of your turns. Oh dang! Perfect. Cool. For the There's benefits. Turns. Yeah, wild magic has benefits. Very few. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and so I. It wasn't, it wasn't fireball centered on self, so we're good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I feel a hour coursing through my veins and I, I look up and I fix my eyes on the targets up above at these bandits and I can kind of just feel their energy and their life force of the closest one to me getting sucked into my being. I believe I'm still at 18 hit points, right? I didn't heal after I took the ankle breakers after doing my sick... Didn't Alex you, heal you? You, you, you fake tripped and let me heal you That's and I right. totally caught it. Okay, yeah. okay, good. <laughs> Okay, then I'm full health. So I am going to my terrible Nat one. I'm gonna make my way right. I am too far away from you to stop you. Right here, uh, because here. I see this being like straight through, and I'm gonna 
and attempt to a sick jump onto this rock here. Or is this dirty? It's dirty right here. I guess I'll just sit here, and then I'm gonna shoot my bow oh. at the closest. All right, you're gonna shoot at this one. That one right there, correct. All right, make an attack roll. Seventeen. There you go. That hits. That does. Amazing. All right, so we're gonna hit some damage here. Mm-hmm. Well, Ooh. piercing. Holy crap! What? That oh man, yeah. I, have, I have one d8 plus four, and that I got the d8. Wow. That's max damage. Yeah. Incredible. Like, nice I, I nattied. Yeah. Man's dead. <laughs> You sure did? A warning shot. <laughs> Into his face. Uh, can you do it non-lethally? Oh, nice. Arrows can be non-lethal. Yeah. yeah All man. right, bandit. This bandit turns around and sees... Actually, hold on. This bandit has to make a perception check to see if he knows Alecles is behind him. No, oh, I think he... Nope, <laughs> nope, nope. Hey. No, I gotta re-roll that. Josh can test that with stealth. <laughs> Rolling at <laughs> so when I I will say when I Curses teleport, back. I kind of like I kind of like trip and like break a bunch of branches like off the tree. Oh my yeah, <laughs> he's just looking back at me. My bad. <laughs> yes. You're like a That's massive bad. crack. <laughs> yeah. You're not used to being teleported, so you just Sorry. like hurl. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You're just fucking bomb. So this rogue throws a dagger. Because of your natural one, unfortunately, four damage. Yeah, I took it. The next bandit must also make a perception check. Well, and they, they, all they know. don't need to. Yeah, there was a net one still. There, there was oh, a net oh, one. Oh, oh. That's what if my net one say, is. They if all you say see me. So, if yeah. you say so. I will say my net this... one definitely sees me. <laughs> you're, you're, you're right, you're right. You this... tripped, broke a bit. What if they got a nat one, everywhere. <laughs> what if this... they rolled a nat one and they just fell off the cliff? <laughs> <laughs> that would have been, been hilarious. That would have been hilarious. Throw up. Yeah. This right. bandit draws a short sword and engages. All right. Does not hit. They're it blocking with my great axe. <laughs> nice. All right, Demos. Let's go. Demos. I'm going to activate Demos. Necrotic Shroud. What does that look like to Althea, who is standing right next to you? <laughs> Not good, uh, but it doesn't affect you, so you should be fine. Same. Creatures other than your allies get affected. For my bony wings, it's kind of like that. It's there. It is that. Time. Yeah. Yeah, it am, actually is. Straight up is I am, that. I am resistant to necrotic damage, so I'm big chilling no matter what. Well, it doesn't do necrotic damage to you. It, it, it does fear around it, and then necrotic damage to my weapon. Yeah, which is why I kind of like being up there. And then I'm going to shoot my sharp bow. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think both of my advantage rolls hit. So uh, I nine. think I might need to. I might need to check out your character sheet. But it seems like people have been having like the advantage problem. Consistently. Well, no, uh, no, the advantage thing is part. Of, I used enhance ability before we came. Used in. enhance ability for dexterity. Oh, uh, that's right. This one's a right. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Never mind. Which band did you aim for? This oh, one. this one. Yeah, we're gonna All shoot right, that right. one. That one was the one that was hit with the twelve before. That's a. Oh, maybe I should name for that one. I'll aim for this guy then. <laughs> Well, you can. Alright, All right, he takes nine damage. Well, the next bandit. The one that got messed up. Casts Burning Hands. Uh oh. At me? At Alecles, yes. Does his friend get hit as well? He's not going to move over here. Okay. Well, it's still a cone, so and it's still going to hit that dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, you get damaged either way with spells. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's a failure of 11. That is a failure, and this is actually cast at second level. Okay. So that's going to be... 4d6. 4d6. Oh. Okay. Oh, baby. I'm gonna the wizard get those money gang. Spells. He loves casting I'll be spells. I'll be fine. Shadow wizard money gang. That's yeah, 12 well. damage. You got it. And then... Oh, lucky. Uh, his his unfortunate friend must also make Take a it. dexterity save. Now the NPC of doing it. And also fails. Yeah, one off. Let's go. See, now it's time to rank Xerius It would take the same damage. It is. Right. Yeah. Welcome to the game, so, your first shot. And this is oh, yeah. Oh, right, 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 right. Oh, 13. 13. Would you like to oh divine smite? <laughs> nat 10 too. Dude, we're shooting we're shooting bullets out here. Let's go. That's a nat 10 plus his dex. Yeah. So now it's this bandit's turn. This bandit it. is angry. Duper duper angry. In fact, Can I give him like a super like 
overly enthusiastic hot wave. Sure. <laughs> Which just makes him go into a raid. Oh, uh-oh. Is he a barbarian? And he charges right at Alecles. That's fine. Oh, no. you're gonna die. I don't like this. Also, I'm, I'm gonna turn still. to Ranger. I rich. should not have sent you in there. And uh, just like, like, hey, nice I'm shot. Fine. Just like the canyon <laughs> before. And we're just gonna run That's why we got me. That's why I'm here. You're not up there. Good. Yeah, but I can get up there. Or I can get close enough. Scary. Yeah! Does not hit. I Does blocked not that hit. one with my great axe as well. Josh is just one you, man. You can himself. defend yourself, he but you is can't is do <laughs> Boiling. Okay. Your turn. I will go. My turn? Oh. No, Josh's yeah. turn. Alec's my turn. turn. So now my plan comes into effect. I am going to use the Necrotic Shroud, and all the enemies are within 10 feet, which means they will all need to make their Charisma saving throw or be feared of me. Okay. Um, let me pull I up. love this plan. Yeah. Get back. So at the beginning of their turn, they will Power. they will take that save. Okay. And then um, that's my bonus action. And so then after that, I'll just use my action to attack the man who was hit by his friend's own burning hands. Okay. Um, and so... Does a 15 hit? It does not. Really? All right. That's frightening. Then I will just keep my great X up and keep it at the ready. I'll see ya. Let's go. Okay, I need to move. I'm gonna move here. And then I am in the correct amount of range. Let's go. All right, once again, I am going to cast Healing Word as a bonus action. Loser. Um, Loser. I actually, like, I didn't even need to touch you to heal you, actually. It was, I literally just need to say it. I don't know. Um, <laughs> do I have to keep the same word per long rest, or does, like, does is that a thing that matters? I don't think so. No, I just oh, was okay. doing it for comedic effect. <laughs> you can, the word of the day. What is the word of the day? Should I use it again? Oh, yeah. Um, all right. I'm going to shout, hey, loser! And, hey. oh, motherfucker, heal you for 7 HP. That's the lowest amount of healing I can give you. It's still um, some healing. It's still a no, nice No, it is. It's still healing. good. I'm still and above then... half hit points. Oh, you've got and way then... more health than I thought. For yeah. my action, I'm going to hit... No, I'm going to hit this guy right here. Yes. Um, and he has to make a deck saving throw for me. He passes. Never mind. Um, my turn is over. It's so chill over. Eva. Eva. Mess him up, Eva. As a bonus action, I'm going to Hunter's Mark, which I forgot that I've had. Um... <laughs> The best ranger is not a ranger. <gasps> I love Hunter's Mark! Yeah, okay. basically it's just you get an extra d6 on any creature that you choose, and you're good at tracking them, but I don't think they're going to really run away right now. So. No, no, that's just bonus damage. And No, yeah, no, that's, that's, that's awesome. I'm also going to use my Tides of Chaos, which is starting at first level. Uh, you can manipulate the forces of chance and chaos to get advantage on one attack roll, ability check, or saving throw. Once you do so, you must finish a long rest before the feature again. Anytime before you regain this feature, the DM can roll on the wild magic surge table. After you cast a sorcerer spell of first level or higher, you then regain use of this feature. That'll give me a d4. So you, you regain the feature if... Okay, hold on, just go ahead, just go ahead. I'm gonna actually try to go and make use it on my ability check to try to cross this river here. So that All is... Right. Okay, you are going to need to make a dexterity saving throw. 17. Okay, that enough to get me across? <laughs> yes, you make it to the other side, and you are now clinging to the rock. Perfect. So I, I would pull myself up probably like here. I need you to roll acrobatics. Okay, rolling acrobatics. 16. All right, you make Learned it up. from your tree phenomenon. Yeah, attack with my shrimp bow on this guy right here. Mate. Probably yeah, I guess the mage. We want to get rid of him. Yeah. Ooh. yeah. I think that hits. I think, does that the is... 25 hit, sir? Yes. Seven piercing. Seven. All right. Now this bandit also yeah. goes to surround Alecles. Before that, he has his saving throw. That's right. Yeah. He Actually, yeah. No, you're right. Before, before that, he can't. Yeah, he can't approach unless he passes it. 
He passes. That passes. Oh, with flying colors. Blocks it That's... with the great axe. Tink. Yep. This man's blocking every direction. <laughs> Alright, charisma saving throw. Failure. Fail. Failure. Uh oh. This bandit takes the disengage action and moves over to Eva. Demons. Alright, uh, I'm going to pretty basic action. Shoot an arrow at this guy. Nat 20, baby! Wait, do you have an advantage on that? Yeah, he's yeah, he got his enhanced yeah. ability. Yeah, and that's right. I'm next. All right. So I have advantage until I lose concentration. Do I do double damage with that? We'll take your step and double the damage. 16 on the uh, mage. Who drops unconscious? Okay, thank God. I was about to say, if he still has hit points, he's got more <laughs> hit points than I do, and I'm not a mage. <laughs> death save throw. That's a pass. Who's the guy that attacked four? I believe it was uh, the guy who's on Eva right now. Help your old pal out. Mess him up again. Shoot him dead. Ooh. Oh, Ooh, oh, a 19. Oh. <laughs> so close. That hits. Our arrows are ringing true right now. <laughs> Good or bad? That's good. Getting a hit is good. But uh, can he do a charisma save? He passes. Okay. He can keep hitting me then. In his rageful state. All right, that hits. Okay, fine. Oh. Plus his rage bonus, which I believe is plus, plus two? two. Alec, please. So, can I look at the two near near me? Can I see which one's worse for where? Roll perception. Nat twenty. Give me their health. HP's numbers now. <laughs> I want to know the brand of sneakers they're wearing. <laughs> this one has 13 them. hit points. This one has 30. I'm going to attack the one who actually just hit me. Before I do that, I will cast Hexblade's Curse on him, and I will use my Great Axe and attack. I don't think 12 hits, right? You can block. You can't attack. <laughs> when I hit, though, <laughs> when I hit, things die. I'm afraid it does not hit. I will remember that he's Hexblade Cursed. Althea. I'll say I'm I... just under my half hit points. Yeah. I'm going to cast Healing Word at second level on Alecles. And because it's at second level, I'm changing the <laughs> word. Good, good, good. Um, and our new word of the day... Is Wrath. Will be... Will be... Can it, can it can it be a short sentence? Or actually, it can, but but one word will be the healing word, and you guys will have to guess which one. I'm gonna cast healing word and say, "Mess him up." <laughs> up. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Eleven HP back for you. This one to make a deck or uh, not a deck save. Is it a deck save? It's radiant. Yeah, dex deck save for me. Ooh, that one. With max damage, baby, let's go. Max damage, double. Oh. You take 16 damage. 16 and damage. Drops unconscious. <laughs> I am going to use. You're like getting ready to fight this dude, and he drops in front of you. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna look over and give you the the thumbs up from afar. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna use prejudication. Yeah, that one, and make my voice booming towards the other two that are surrounding Alicles. And I'm going to yell. I'm going to try to intimidate them. Our goal was to try to take you dead or alive. Now, I prefer alive. But my friends... Really dead! But my friends back there, who haven't missed a shot, prefer you dead. <laughs> I recommend you stand down. Otherwise, my winged friend is going to stop holding back. Do a help action by expanding my wings and, like, looking at them and holding my great X tighter. They don't seem to be phase. Okay. <laughs> okay, well then, not, we'll by, just not by your words, anyway. Uh, I'm gonna shrug my shoulders, and but they're looking at me because I yelled at them. Can I just tie up the guy that's closest to me with my rope? You can drag him half of your movement. Okay, I'm gonna drag him up here, it's out of the way, and I'm gonna move myself back. This can't. <laughs> uses cunning action to disengage as a bonus action and also uses the dash action where's this man going he runs and jumps into the river okay <laughs> okay which carries him a bit of an extra distance down this way actually only only this far all right demos all right i'm going to run right here mm -hmm. and shoot that guy <laughs> <laughs> How much health does he have? He had like 30, right? Yeah, 30. I ain't gonna be able to kill him. Maybe I could shoot him in the leg. 
cripple him. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna go for a crippling shot. <laughs> yeah. Give me an attack roll. Oof, that hits. All right, let's have him make a constitution save. Ooh, I think failure. he failed. That's that's five with the roll. It's plus two, plus four. So it's right. Nine. You've dealt nine damage and given him a nasty wound in the ankle that will cut his movement speed in half. Trevor, shoot him dead. Trevor, yep. shoot this him guy dead. Trevor. <laughs> Trevor? He's got a bad leg. Get his other leg. <laughs> Get his other leg. <laughs> Rev, shoot that guy's other leg. I'll attack the same guys. I'm going to attack him right in the kneecap. Can I do that? <laughs> Arrow to the knee. <laughs> You're going to take one whole leg away. <laughs> All right. Shatter yeah. his give knees. Me, give me an attack. Give me an attack roll. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we haven't missed give me, a shot. <laughs> give me your damage. Actually, I oh have. Oh my gosh. Rangarius is such Dude, a buck term. He's at like eight, he, or he's not that high. He's like nine. And he's not we, even, we took out his other leg. Like, Show The dude's uh, movement speed is halved <laughs> twice. He's, he's not crawling. been dropping like smites or anything. Constitution saving throw. That's a pass. He's not crippled, but that's a lot of damage. That's twelve. Yeah. Contrary to popular the belief, the only reason that Rangerius Rick will not be in every episode is because he deals too much damage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> too often. Yeah, he nerve. He doesn't miss. <laughs> it's the only nerf that we were able to, like, feasibly give him is to make him busy with other things. <laughs> Alright, well, this bandit is still raging. I'm gripping so my gonna... axe real tight. And, and now it's your fun. turn, Alec, please. Alright. He is hex he's Hexblade Cursed. I'm going to use my bonus action to also curse him, and I will make sure that he has disadvantage on any dexterity saving throws. Alright. And so... I'm going to have to... I'm going to do this. Please hit. That That's 20. Oh. So, I think you're going to kill him. <laughs> yeah, so I deal... I do plus two... I give plus four damage because he's Hexblade Cursed, and he's... What type of damage? These are all necrotic. For my necrotic shroud, I do a plus two. From the Hexblade's Curse, I do a plus two. I do... For my damage, I'll do 1d12 and 1d6 plus 6. So that's technically 1d12 plus 1d6 plus 10. David's plus 10. like, you guys are level 3! <laughs> 20 damage. I do need to make some harder encounters. <laughs> <laughs> I also what? regain 8 hit points because I know his hit 20? points is less than that. You did hey, uh, 20? And Eva, of that is I need you to do something for me. Yeah? What I come? Eva, when it comes to your turn, what do you what do you think about running down and Misty stepping down, stopping that guy from running, running away? I'm gonna wait. That's literally what I was gonna do. I, I'm gonna wait yeah, for him. Is. Yeah. Yeah. And for my last bit, I will um, just yell in a rage, and also I will head out. I've done my job uh, as the uh, <laughs> as the player. I'm going to head out and. You hit his government sanctioned right. attack. See you next yeah. time. I'll see ya. Let's go. Okay, who's still alive and a threat to us? Well, this the guy running away is the only one up, but we don't want him to run. Honestly, uh... if you, you want to kill one, feel free. He's crippled, <laughs> so like even if he gets out of the water, he's not moving very fast. Well, is that the one we want to save because he won't he can't run we away? Have the, we have the other three alive right now. We want to cripple the other three and then keep and then kill that guy. All right. Don't tempt um... me. I'm a necromancer. I'm down to clown. <laughs> I'm gonna move. Undead don't care about pain. I'm gonna get right here. Okay, and I'm just gonna try to, like, pick him out of the... Sp like, I'm gonna try to stab him with my spear as, like, a, a... Like, yeah, I'm, like, this the guy's getting shish kebobbed right now. All right, right here. give me another fish in a very large prey. Crying, sobbing. Oh, you. Throwing myself on the floor. <laughs> Why am I the most useless person in this party? <laughs> You 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 healed you healed Alcles for like almost his full hit points. Yeah, you've done a lot of healing. Yeah, you you saved him. That's from all I'm good died, for. He was. You're dead. making ah! me think I need. To, you're making me think I need to give the enemies healers. No. Why haven't I been doing? Oh, I really am out of practice. I mean, okay. So you, uh, in in your attempt to jab this guy with your spear, you trip and fall into the room. Hold on to him, grapple him. <laughs> Unfortunately, the current pulls you down a little ways. All right, can I like hold on to a rock here for like whatever I can do? Uh, sure. Please. Roll. Uh... I I will take damage to do this if I like slam into the wall. The roll dexterity. 
You grab onto the rocks. Oh. Demos just gives her a very big rocks. thumbs up. My <laughs> cleric is shaken, but not stirred. <laughs> Actually, I think I've been stirred, but not shaken, is what's happened to me. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like you've been shaking quite a bit around those rapids. This bandit flows down the river, but is stopped by Althea. It worked out well. Give him the, I made it the Spider-Man. Hey. Can I do this? Cast Inflict Wounds at second level. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> Alright. Death save? That's a failure. Yep. Uh, can I shoot that guy? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can. Now one. Now one. Now one. Seventeen. Seventeen. He's not gonna get a now one. He's, well, he could Guys, still get a now one, but the DM that's not that one. on my downfall. <laughs> four plus four. <laughs> one his other leg. <laughs> Are you aiming for his other leg? <laughs> one his other leg. This poor NPC and have went to crime. <laughs> All right, this bandit's back up. I'm trying to entirely remove his movement by taking both legs. Uh, yeah, you have cut his movement down to five feet. <laughs> All right, Rangerius. This man is going nowhere. <laughs> Wait, Ranger. Hey. Can you shoot his arm? Same man. It's only got a flesh it. wound. In the water. All right, I'll, uh, I'll shoot his arm. You got it. No, no, no. <laughs> no. You, should, you should shoot the bandit that got back up. I'll shoot, shoot the arm. his arm. <laughs> Not too late shooting the arm. Miss. With the oh. ten. That is a mess. <laughs> oh, good try, good try. And then All I care about <laughs> is that it's not a bad enough now. miss to hit me. You know, this guy is missing a kneecap that... in both his ankles. <laughs> it's not enough. Alright, well believe it or not, now it's Alecles' turn. Yeah, baby. Poor yeah, guy we... thought combat was over. All right, I'll attack for him. Is this guy at one health? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he, sees, oh. he sees this guy getting up, and he just just <laughs> walks, just, you know, power walks and power stomps over there <laughs> with his great axe. But that brother's gone. Yeah, he, he's, he is down. I'm going to, as an action, try to uh, tie this guy up not moving anywhere that's for sure what do i, I have you're... to roll to tie him up if you're in a rapids i think you might want to get out first yeah you might want to try to drag him to shore right or is he unconscious <laughs> okay fine I'll drag him back. if you drag him too short it's not like he's running <laughs> yeah he can only run know. five <laughs> roll up roll athletics very tough time dude i oh you got out to Texas. <laughs> Okay, why is this only happening to me this session, <laughs> right? Like, targeted. it's only it was happening Josh. to me. It was Josh last time, it's you this time. Who knows, maybe next I'm time it'll be the... to cry. Okay, so what... <laughs> what, 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 what si six athletics versus 26 dex, Dave, what does that do? Well, he's unconscious he's, in the river. He's gone from you. <laughs> he's ultra-instincting you right now. <laughs> With no legs, he's like... Whoa. Yeah, he... You you try to get on top of him, but he just throws you right back on the floor. The he blood does, is super slippery. He's just a torso, and under the water, he just does this. <laughs> he just hits the nae <laughs> And is able to flow away. Let's be honest, I think he can walk to him. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have some divine retribution after that. That's walk okay. back up to him. Um, That's your, that would count as your, I would count that as your action, now. Okay. Um, oh. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go stand right here. He's not going nowhere. All right. <laughs> I am soaking wet and fuming at him. <laughs> I'm imagining this guy like, trying to swim away with just his arm. <laughs> Fucking crossbow bolt through his I'm so, I'm his grabbing onto his chins. I'm grabbing onto his protruding spine. I'm so angry right now. <laughs> All right, Eva. <laughs> can I stable it? Or can I, I'll just tie him up then. Yeah. Oh, hold Actually. on, tie, tie all three of them up. I'm sure the three of us could handle that guy. Okay. This guy just manages to flow down the river just a little more. Oh, there's a river there. Yeah, there's, there should be a river here. Maybe it's like a cave. Dude, one one more, more one more round and he will be off the map. Go over here. Shoot that guy. In his arm. Alright. 
and you knock him unconscious. Through the arm? Yeah, he passes out from it's the It's blood loss. It's blood <laughs> loss at this point. Now that they are all unconscious, combat breaks down. Alright. I'm gonna grab this guy and haul hey, him back you. out of the cave. Uh, where, which one was the spellcaster? That's this one. Now, yeah, I wanted to make a note of something. I didn't, get a ch- I didn't get a chance to while Josh was here. But Josh's character would recognize the golden magic glow that comes from this particular spellcaster and his focus. Yeah, I would like to drag that guy and hold him over the edge. Hold him over the edge? Yeah, over the edge of the water, yeah. I want to I wanna tie I want to tie all these guys up and then drag him and hold him over the water. I'm doing Batman tactics because I want well, these my, guys... My guy, Demos is right. just giving him a thumbs up and saying, Drop him! Drop him! Yeah. <laughs> I would like to make another Drop persuasion or rabbits. intimidation. While he's dragging them over, can I uh, check their pockets for anything? Yes. Roll a sleight of hand. 19. Very nice. From this guy, he gets... Also, Trevor, uh, I will... <clears throat> When I, when I hold these guys over, I want you to just bring your crossbow up and just pretend you're going to aim at them. <laughs> We're going to bluff them. <laughs> All right. From band B, you get uh, 10 extra days worth of rations. From band C, you get 10 pythons and a hammer. And you can take this focus. Why not? I'll just yoink it. All right. And then for band A, a, you can take all 20 of his arrows. We are so back. We are so back, baby. I This was a net positive for arrows. I am at 74 arrows. Eva is oh. going to have all three of these guys here sitting on uh, sitting on the edge. And I'm going to have Rangerius Rickthios standing with Althea down with the other captured bandit and I'm going to say gentlemen we can either do this the easy or the hard way as I said before and you didn't take me seriously <laughs> we can bring you back dead I'm going to just as if I'm going to push him off and kind of laugh it off or you can work for us it's that simple or what would you like me to roll go ahead and roll persuasion with advantage okay 21 I guess it didn't roll with advantage just roll it again oh even better well you know we're just get 25 yeah well, yeah, with, with tears streaming down their faces, the bandits moan, No, we soon we'll do whatever they say. One of we'll them's like... <laughs> At this, Demos looks very, very disappointed. <laughs> I look I look over to Althea and I go, you, Would you take that deal? I kind of, like, kick the one that's laying on the ground next to me without use of his legs a little bit. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'd take that deal. All right. He, he coughs up blood and water. <laughs> And I, I'm gonna interrogate and ask now why well, would some strapping soldiers like you? I want to check his pockets. <laughs> wait, yeah, what's happening? Want... He's, he's looting him. Oh wait, <laughs> I know. Right, I so... want this one's pockets. I want this one's pockets. You have but the I other. I shot him. I shot both legs. Okay, but I ragged him out of the water. Fine, but if he I has arrows, they're mine. Okay. If yes, of course. If he has arrows, they're yours. Twenty arrows between between the two of you. You have thieves' tools, two flasks of oil, five candles, fifty extra feet of rope. I would give it to uh, Rangirius. Rangirius. You Rick gets get the, the thieves' tools. tools. I would like. Turn a house to a home with candles. Fifty want the candles. feet of rope, and if you want the two flasks of oil, you're more than welcome to them. And if you want, I'm going to I douse. Would... I'm going to douse those, then throw a fireball. <laughs> And then I'm also going to cut off a pocket from him and put it in my pocket for... Uh, that's a secret item that will help us later. He's just gonna um, be confused. <laughs> amazing. Do I have to Do I have to roll anything to cut this man's pocket off? I'm gonna interrogate these guys. Eva's gonna look at these three. Now, good, you, you chose life. Uh, my friend down there thinks that's a good deal to take. Now, what would make a bunch of soldiers turn to a life of crime? You emptied your pockets out. I didn't notice any currency. Why should we spare you? We've got a we've got a cave. We've got a cave with treasure. It's right over it's right over there in the river. Now see, I like you three. Yeah, you know, and I, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab one of them that looks the weakest looking one, and I'm gonna have him lead one of us there, and I'm gonna talk to the other ones while that happens. So I'm not even gonna go in the cave. Is that all right? I'll go in the cave. I've, I've very seen... like I'll skip along happily. Yeah, and, uh... A knife in my hand, ready to stab this guy. <laughs> I'll also go in the cave. Okay, and then while that's happening, we guys do that. I'm just gonna explain to them that like there's a there's a bounty on their heads, and we get the land, but we need people to take care of the land. So if they take care of the land for us, once we get it all there, we will uh, that I, that I'm willing to pay them 
Are we gonna trust turncoat bandits with our land? Well, well hold on. That's why. That's what. Let him cook. Yeah, I was gonna have Trevor, since if Trevor's gonna leave every once in a while, that when Trevor's not on a mission, um, he could be back watching our land. Oh, huh. I wouldn't want to mess with the guy who just blew it off a kneecap. <laughs> exactly. Trevor, Trevor legitimately, in their eyes, because I don't think he saw, Trevor didn't miss in their eyes. The only other guy I saw, like, probably was unconscious in the river okay. when another crossbow right. bolt missed. So literally nobody else saw him miss. <laughs> Makes sense. Uh, that's basically what I'm, I'm going to propose to them, because I, I think they need, I was like, you guys seem like you need some money. Make it better for them. Or we can get rid of them. And then Voice they can theirs. pay off their debt to you, and you pay off your debt to the other people. Exactly. Let him cook. All three bandits nod vehemently in agreement. <laughs> well, welcome to the team. And as I go to help one up, and then I do another jump scare. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll watch these guys here because they're all tied up. And then if you guys want to go to the cave, I'm going to talk to Rangarius, reminisce about how, you know, shooting was like in the old times, and give him an extra gold for hitting all the shots. <laughs> Damos and Althea make their way into the cave. Did you take one of the bandits with you? Yeah. The okay. one. He shows you right to the treasure room where they did happen to store a strong box filled with 50 gold drachmas and pretty much every sort of tool one would need for building or working the land and a bow. You'll notice that this is a very special bow. I cast identify. <laughs> it's good. All right. <laughs> it is a magic item. In fact, it is a bow blessed by the goddess Artemis. Ooh. You can tell by its silvery sheen and the way it's designed to mirror the antlers of a stag. It has plus one to attack rolls and changes arrows into moon arrows, which deal thunder damage instead of piercing damage. Okay, has. Althea does not see a reason why this is not an appropriate and fair thing. Out of, out of character, I purposely was not going in, so that way, uh, Alex, you could choose what his reward is. So, so my character's out, so you get full reign on what our... You guys can distribute the 50 gold if I keep the bow. <laughs> Seems fair to me. I'm just, I'm letting, I'm letting Althea do all the divvying. I trust Althea at this point. <laughs> I'm not even going into okay. the treasure room because I know that I would want to take it. I'm just hanging out. I'm going to look at Demos and be like, I don't see any reason why you shouldn't have that. I think you'll make good use of it. He gives a very wide smile, a thumbs up, then a... I am going to... I'm going to ask that you carry some of the tools that are used for, for land workage. And I'm going to grab the rest and also the 50 gold and put that in its own pocket for the time being. Um, and walk back out of the cave to meet up with people. So while this is happening, we're just oh, doing fuck. shooting practice. That's it. This, this is just oh, in the specifically background. Specifically at them. <laughs> no, it's just at a rock. Dang it. I give Rangerius another gold. You always were a better shot. Well, um, again, you have a short bow and I have a heavy crossbow. Can I see, like, the results of, like, you slipping him a gold as I walk out? Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and realizing that, like, you lost a bed of some sort? Yeah. I'm gonna walk up to you guys, and I'm assuming, I'm, have we got, since you guys are shooting, I'm assuming we're in the same place now, oh yes you are, okay, um, we're shooting this tree uh, right here, alright, I'm going to walk up, and I'm assuming that Alecles has joined us, uh, I'm going to hand 10 gold to Rangerius Rick, and say we appreciate your assistance, I would love to have you on, I would love to, see you around more often. I'm going to hand 10 gold to Alecles and pat him on the back and cast Cure Wounds and heal him for 9 HP. And I'm going to keep 10 gold for myself, which leaves me with how much? 1, 2, 3, that leaves me with 10 gold. I'm going to hand 2 gold to Demos. After everybody else were kind of like getting ready to head back, I'm going to slip the other 8 to Yiva. This, I, I give this to you and I like kind of like, if you, when like, when I hold out my hand, you take it and I hold my hand there for just like a half a second too long in the way of like, you understand that this is not something that I would really ever do. This is not fair to me, but I understand that like, 
You did a lot of work when it comes to tying the people up, getting them to do what we want. I've seen you slip, Rangerius, like more than five gold at this point, and I really <laughs> appreciate your negotiating skills. So I hand you the other eight gold, and I, I, shake. I don't... <laughs> Neither of us know how I've made that fair in my head, but know that it is fair. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely a deepening and an understanding there, and I'm, I'm going to give you a, a nice a nice little nod and uh, and pocket that. There we go. All right. It's all divvied up, and then I'm also going to make you guys help carry the tools. <laughs> Great. Because is, is this the land that we're getting? Yes, that's what that is what they said. Oh. We have irrigation okay. already. Mother... This is beautiful. Yeah, no kidding. Is there like a like a, a wagon around that I can just put these tools in so that they can be used. All right, There's a sledge. I'll, all right, then I'll put them on the sledge. Give us your thoughts. What is Rangerius Rictios, the highly competent merchant Critically assassin? Critically acclaimed. Yeah, what do you think? Well, three ain't bad. <laughs> well said. <laughs> Watch your kneecaps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Well, well, well he says that, uh, I'm, I'm just gonna be like, all right, so we know that like, if you were soldiers at one point, then you must have had good hearts, but something must have drove you this level of seediness. So I'm going to give you all, out of the goodness of my heart and my companion's hearts, one last chance to sow this land. Now, because you messed up, implications are that we're traitors, but not to us. We're going to go and grab a deed, make this land ours officially. We are going to put your names on the deed, with very, very low percentages, of course. But when you toll this land, there will be some profit in it for you. And I would like to ask them all for their favorite meal as a show of good faith. It would be dumb just to completely trust you. Some of the merchant friends that I have, we're, we're going to be coming by to check on you, so don't do anything stupid. Frequently, Frequently. I might add. Uh, out of character, am I able to pay wild one merchants that are checking up on me to check up on this land as an end? Absolutely. Okay, I would like to. Absolutely. You know those Skyrim guards, the, those corny those corny <laughs> city guards that say, oh, I used to be an adventurer like you until I took an arrow to the knee. Now, this is literal. They were adventurers until <laughs> so they literally <laughs> took <laughs> arrows. These guys took arrows to the knees, they took them to the shins, they took them to the limb. The Monty <laughs> Python skit. Oh, cool. The bandits, the bandits all just, all just not like, yes, sir, we will We'll do exactly as you say. I'm the one of the bandits says, and I like, I like uh, bread and olive oil. The other bandit next to him sharply just jabs him with his elbow to shut him up. <laughs> I, I pretend to write it down. I actually write it down. <laughs> Technically, we need proof that they were here. Um, Cut their ears off. That's a ne that is a solution. Now let's, or, or we could pull. So we had focus, right? You grab yeah, focus. I have their focus, and I have the bow that they hid in the cave. I say we keep the bow, but we could show the focus. Well, and well maybe... we can show them both, and that might be proof enough. I would keep the bow hidden, because I feel like... <laughs> A bow blessed by the goddess Artemis, the goddess of the hunt. That is something that the, the city would probably be like, we can make up some bullshit so that we don't have to let them take that. Yeah. Or shoot with an arrow. <laughs> No, but uh, I was thinking maybe we get. Or could I roll perception to see if there's oh, yeah, any? We can identifying... sell their weapons. Actually, I'm down to clown. Any identification? Go ahead, roll perception. Okay. Main thing. Nice. I think you succeeded. You sure did. <laughs> All right. Now, rifling through their things, you do indeed find soldiers' medallions from the Boetian League on all four of them. I think this is a, a point we can end it. Our heroes have ventured once again outside of the city of Thebes on the charge of Ayana, the priestess of Dionysus, hoping to find some bandits that have holed up down the Isthmus River. Now, fortunately for them, they did indeed find said bandits and have brought them to justice. Or so they might have you believe. As of now, our intrepid heroes have grand designs for land development. But first... A return trip to the city of Thebes to be granted their rightly earned reward. And next time on another episode of Thebes, uh, Thebes Nuts. Nuts. Total <laughs> Drama <laughs> Island. <laughs> <laughs>